Okay guys, this is my second review for the Wig Whisperers Corner where I'm giving you a baddie on a budget, um, you know, review of these wigs. I've already worn them, I've washed them, and now I'm letting you know the longevity. Here's the thing, people who do wig installs and have a lot of following, it's so great. One thing about those ladies um, is that they already know what they're doing. So when I watch a wig install thing, they won't tell you like stuff like stay away from your hairline. They're not really giving you tip on the maintenance. They're just slaying the wig right then and there. I always like a follow up video like what happened when you wore the wig? Was it small head friendly, big head friendly? I have a super tiny wig head. So there's like very few wigs that don't fit me. Oh, I haven't had one yet, um, but there are some that are definitely not big head friendly. And if I can remember to tell y'all that, I would. Now, here's one of my favorite synthetic wig vendors on Amazon, Brown Bomb Store. So I bought this silver gray synthetic hair wig from them, um, I think like last week. It's current price is $43.99, but they had something for Prime members. And I think I paid like... $39.59 or something like that, like a little bit under $40 for this wig. So I haven't been wearing gray for quite a while. I just didn't find it to be a really lucky color for me in 2023. In 2022, I was killing the grays and a lot of you, shout out to my big sis Michelle, a lot of you really do love gray wigs and how they look on me. So I've tried to go back and find different vendors. Now, I have purchased three wigs total from this vendor. One of the wigs I purchased in the summertime and it was like a black with like blonde streaks on the side. And I super duper love that wig. That wig is giving. I My second purchase was this wig and I have another one which is um, white. It's white with like little black, black hairs in the back. Um, I'm just washing that wig so when that one dries, like I could do a review for that. All right, let's get into the review for this one. This is not the original packaging that it came in. Brown Bomb, they'll send wig caps. They usually send like an, an edge band um, that's nice. Okay, so all right, this is the wig and this is after it's been washed and air dried, okay? Now hold on, let me, let me show y'all what I look like in this wig, hold on. Okay, baby, this is me in the brown bomb, brown bomb, silver gray, 26 inch um, synthetic wig. Now, I forgot to mention with my other review, most of these are going to be like T parts. So when you find them, you know, on sale, this was more on the pricier side um, for certain, but it's a T part. So here's my issue with this. I really love this wig and I thought I looked absolutely beautiful in it, as you can see behind me. But my issue in it uh, with it, once again, like the first wig I reviewed, my first Amazon wig, is, um, hold on, I wanna show y'all, is that it's pretty thin. So I'm used to, for a lot of these wigs, like 180% density. So some of these vendors, this is probably closer to 150. So not quite 120 like the curly T-part blonde wig that I just reviewed before this one. Um, but it's still a bit thin. And I can always tell when I'm washing the wig when it's super thin. Because for example, my favorite gray wig is from, synthetic gray wig is from Love Story. And with that, when I'm washing it, you don't be seeing the tracks. It's super thin you like thick, it's giving you 180% density. So for a brown bomb, like that is the one downside. Other than that, I thought this wig was beautiful. Um, I think Amazon does it like out of stars. So I'd give, instead of five stars, I'd give it a four because just the thinness, I would like 180% density. That's what I would like. Now, as far as big head friendly, I think this is like a normal 22.5, you know, circumference of the head. That was fine. Um, but it's still a little more closer to the, you know, the small head. Because I don't remember having to crisscross this. There's some synthetic wigs I'll have to crisscross and all this other stuff. I didn't have to do all, you know, like crisscross the straps 
to make it tight. I didn't have to do anything crazy like that. So do I think it's super big head friendly? Not really, but I think it's like a medium head. So it's going to be up to you. Definitely read the reviews. But like I said, the one big issue for me is being able to see the tracks. Um, I would have loved 180% density, especially for the money. Now, I love Brown Bomb. I think I just took off the white and black wig from them that hopefully I'll review sometime next week. And um, I, I once again, the only issue is the density. I think these wigs are very human hair like, even though they are clearly synthetic. I feel pretty. I've yet to put on one of Brown Bomb's wigs and, um, you know, it's, I don't feel pretty in it. I feel extremely pretty in it. This was a damn cloudy day and this is no filter. This is, this is a hundred percent KJM right behind you. So I thought it was super cute, super cute. And once again, it's going for $43.99 right now. Depending on if you're a Prime member, you may be able to get it for under 40 bucks, like somewhere around like $39.59 or something like that that I did. Um, I love this company and they have some other wigs. They have some more pricier synthetic wigs that cost like maybe like 90 bucks or something that I'm really thinking about purchasing. But baby, I'm waiting until Amazon give me like a sale or something on these wigs. So... Would I buy this wig again? Yes, I love this company. I think Brown Bomb is where it's at. When I get a chance, I'll do the actual review on Amazon. But I'm giving this wig four stars out of five. And like I said, the only issue is the density. I would have loved 180% density for the cost. Um, inflation, baby, the rent is too high. Food is too high. You food shop, you about to pass out. So therefore, I need to be able to save money but look fabulous in some other ways. Now, once again, I'm switching up the format of how I do these wig reviews. Usually, I do a wig review just after I install them. But baby, if you're good at what you do, and I'm okay at it, um, you can make anything look good. It's To me, it's about the longevity of the wig, whether it's human or synthetic. I'm starting off with synthetic wigs. Um, if you watch my other video, I've already explained why I'm doing that. If you want me to do more wig reviews in this format where I've already worn the wig, washed it, I'm letting you know if it's big head friendly. I'm letting you know, um, you know, how I care for it. So I air dry all of my wigs, whether they're human or synthetic. And I never thought that I would be a synthetic baddie. Like I wear both, but like I said, when I started having health issues in the fall, major health issues, I did not have the time for the maintenance of the human wigs, even if they're ones that I'm just reinstalling. Money is tight. And like I said, I try to search for these deals on Amazon to find these wigs. I think this current wig in here, I think this one was like $29.80 or something. But let's wait for me to wear it because I just installed it today. Let's wait for me to wear it, wash it. I can tell you right now, this is not for a big, if you got a big head, you're going to have to skip this one. Okay? Because I have a tiny wig head and um, yeah, this was, that's the one downside for this wig is definitely not big head friendly. Well, let's go back to the brown bomb one behind me. I think it's like, you know, medium to 22.5, you know, um, medium cap i think you'll be fine with that i think it's beautiful i'll definitely be wearing it again i know some of you really loved not only the wig but this picture of me and it's one of my faves so far in 2024 all right it's kjm the wig whisperer i'm trying to be that baddie on a budget and show y'all how especially if you're into color synthetics is just a smart investment and especially if you learn how to boil your wigs and keep them soft then you, you know, because to get this color combination or even the gray behind me and human, you're going to be paying a couple hundred dollars. And right now our pockets are not there. And guess what? Even when our pockets are there, we are still going to be that baddie on a budget. And I'm still going to show you guys how you can look and feel good in your home. Let me know what you thought about this review. I know some of you guys have been waiting for wig reviews. I'm probably going to drop the wig, what, the first wig review first before I do the Hallmark reviews so that those of you can see that I am versatile and I do more than Hallmark movie reviews. All right, it's KJM. I hope you guys are having a wonderful MLK weekend. What a time to be black and I am enjoying being in all my blackness and sitting in my melanin. All right, I'll see you guys later.